Hi everyone, let's begin two sample Z test. How we have to perform Z test two sample when we are having two samples. A uh, two sample Z test is used to test whether two population means are equal or two population means are not equal. So this test assumes that the standard deviation of each population is known. Uh, two simple Z tests use the following null and alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis, what it said, the two population means are equal and alternate said the two population means are not equal. So let's begin with an example. And first of all, let me explain you what is one sample and what is two sample. The simple formula of one sample Z test, you can see here, x minus mu null hypothesis mu 0 means it is null hypothesis. In case sigma p is not known, we use sigma s. Sigma p stands for standard deviation of population and sigma s stands for standard deviation of sample. In its place calculating and this is the formula. But when we talk about two sample, x bar, x1 bar minus x2 bar here is you can see sigma square p p stands for population 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 is used when two samples are drawn from the sample population in case sigma p is not known we use sigma s12 in its place calculating so this would be the formula how we are going to calculate sigma s 1, 2 means sample 1 and sample 2. So you can see we are going to use this formula. But in a very simplified manner, I am going to explain you one important question. You can see here, uh, in a study, mean weight of subjects in two groups, A and B, were 59.2 kg and 56.5 kg with standard deviation of 2.9 kg and 3.6 kg respectively. Group A had 35 subjects while group B involved 37 subjects. Find out whether the weights of these two groups differ significantly. Here is we can use suitable tabulated values either Z 1.196 or T 1.98 or chi square 3.84 at given degree of freedom. So here is because sample size is greater than 30. And second condition is standard deviation is known. So that is why we are using this Z test. And what is the formula of Z? X1 minus X2 divided by standard under root, standard deviation sample 1 divided by N1 and standard deviation that is divided by sample size 2 and that is sample size of second sample. Sam what, what is the size of the sample? Right. And two. Now we will put all the values. We can see x1. x1 means that is the mean weight of sample A, 59.2. So we had put the values here, 59.2. Let me use my laser pointer. You can see 59.2. After this, we can see here there is sample. There is the one more group, B group. Here is mean weight 56.5. So let me use 56.5 x2. After this, divided by under root sign and standard deviation of sample 1. You can see group A, that is standard deviation is 2.9. But standard deviation for sample, for, for group B, 3.6 kg respectively. So, we have put the same values 2.9 whole square divided by 35 plus 3.6 whole square divided by 37. So, we will simplify all the values and finally, we will reach on this value 3.51. This is our Z calculated value. Now, what we have to do, conclusion, how we are going to conclude this question Simply calculated value is greater than table value because table value is, you can see here, 1.96 and calculated value is 3.51. So, simply what we have to say, 
accept alt alternate hypothesis and reject null hypothesis. It means weights of these two groups, groups differ significantly. And that was our problem. What we will find out whether the weights of these two groups differ significantly or not. So in our case, yes, of course, we can say hypo null hypothesis is rejected and alternate is accepted. So that means these two groups differ significantly. I hope this video would be helpful to you. And in the next video, I'm going to solve one more interesting problem. Keep watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.